Previously, we have looked at fatty acids and learned the difference between saturated and unsaturated fat. If you recall, a fatty acid is a long chain of carbon with hydrogens bonded to it. And at the end here, we have a carboxylic group that bonds to a glycerol molecule. Now, this fatty acid, each carbon has two hydrogens bonded to it. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. So this is a saturated fatty acid. You can't add any more hydrogens to it. Now, an unsaturated fatty acid, on the other hand, is at least one or more double bonds. A monounsaturated fat, which is this, has one double bond to it. A polyunsaturated fat has more than one double bond to it. Now, these carbons have double bonded, they only have one hydrogen, so you can add another hydrogen. That's why they are called unsaturated fats. Now, from a biochemical standpoint, biochemists love the scent of the molecule. It's sexy. It has a carboxylic acid group. It's highly reactive. This end right here, it's essentially a methyl group. Carbon, three hydrogen molecules, it's very unreactive. So, when they label it, they label this end the alpha end because it's the exciting end, and this end the omega end because it's the boring end. Omega is the last letter of the Greek alphabet. And this is actually where we get the term omega fatty acid from. When you have, you hear of omega 3s and omega 6s, well, the number stands for the number of carbons from the omega end. So this monounsaturated fatty acid is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this would be an omega-9 fatty acid. Now, why are fat, omega fatty acids essential to you? Well, your body can only produce double bonds after the ninth carbon. So this is the ninth carbon right here. Your body can make this fatty acid on its own. Now let's look at this one. This omega fatty acid is a 1, 2, 3. It's an omega 3 fatty acid. The double bond is before the ninth carbon. Your body cannot make it. So your body has to take it in from an outside source, such as fish oil or flaxseed oil. And typically, you take in omega 3 fatty acids, 1, 2, 3, and omega 6 fatty acids. And notice this one it has one double bond, two double bonds, three double bonds, so this would be a polyunsaturated fatty acid, as well as an omega fatty acid. And the reason it's essential is because the double bond is before the ninth carbon. So, if we look at the next slide, so this is an omega-6 fatty acid. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, this is again an essential fatty acid. It's an omega-6 fatty acid. And again, it's a polyunsaturated fatty acid because there's another double bond here. I hope this quick video clears up what an omega fatty acid is and why they are essential.